and Enoch. Hello. If you're itching to get out of Sydney post lockdown as we are, or you're simply planning a trip down the south coast of New South Wales, come with us as we share what Batemans Bay has to offer. So on our way to Batemans Bay, I'm just going to keep my eye on the road because we're driving about 110 kilometers here. We've been trying to make our way down the south coast you know, from where we live in the Shire. You can go north or south, but we've always preferred going down south because everywhere is pretty much down the road from us. You just go down this way. Right in the north, there's a lot more toll and you have to drive through the city. So with Batemans Bay, it's about three and a half hours drive from the southern Shire. So from the CBD, probably close to four hours. Actually renowned for its oysters and also for ecotourism. It sounds like it's a, a very chill town. We very much look forward to it, having a nice weekend in this seaside town. Uh, and of course to try the oysters as well. And it seems like that's uh, really been promoted by a lot of different websites. To break up the drive from Sydney, we recommend making a stop at the historical town of Barrie. It's full of quaint cafes and local artisan shops, perfect for a stopover to refuel and stretch the legs. We stopped to have lunch at Queen Street Cafe, an elegant cafe with menu items that offer a fusion between your common cafe favourites along with Japanese or Middle Eastern flavours. weather is not cooperating, but we're going to make the best of our time here. We had a drive around earlier just to see the area, um, so we're walking around the town centre now before dinner time. We've just got our first taste of Batemans Bay. I mean, the weather is not ideal. Uh, it's actually been quite miserable, but glad to have arrived safely. Just had a walk around the local areas, and we're now at Stingray's Ocean and Grill. It's, it's by the water. The views, I think, would normally be quite nice. It's known as a promenade, and it's quite a renowned part of town. But uh, the weather's made it a bit more uh, murky and miserable than usual. But, Nonetheless, the menu looks pretty nice here and I'm looking forward to enjoying the, um, the lovely food that's coming our way. We're going to eat some local produce to start our weekend. We stayed at a lovely Airbnb called Tyne, 10 minutes from Batemans Bay's town centre. Apart from our human hosts, who left us freshly baked scones on arrival, one of our furry hosts, Sebastian, warmly greeted us first thing in the morning to ensure we were having a great stay. We're on our way to Birmingham National Park. There are three national parks here. Uh, Yerbadala, which is about, about 19 minutes further south of uh, this Birmingham National Park. And I think there's one called Clyde for the National Park. Uh, so we've chosen Birmingham because now, apparently there are quite a few very scenic walks, but they're also not very fun. And so in this weather, it would be too ideal to, to walk to, to not even bring a rain coat. We decided to go on the Myrtle Beach walking track. Due to the weather, 
and also due to the fact that we're not passionate hikers, but like to feel that we are. The Myrtle Beach walking track is 0.6 kilometers return and is of grade three difficulty. It has an estimated return time of 15 to 30 minutes, taking you to Myrtle Beach and back. To get to the start of the walking track, We'll pass the Muramurang Resort as South Duras, then continue along Old Coast Road until you see the signposts for Myrtle Beach. Here we go, Mer we Dark Myrtle Beach. Can we go left? I think so. Not that signpost, unless if you enjoy the smell of burnt rubber, especially in this wet weather. Keep driving along the same road until you hit this car park area on your left hand side. You shouldn't be too far down. And there is the start of your track. What's this phone? As you can see, the sand is quite black, and that's due to the many volcanic minerals and rocks that are dark coloured in the area. So we're at Innes' Inis, boat shed, which is pretty much on, on the bay, really. In this place, the fish and chip is quite renowned, so we're trying it out. I think it's pretty nice. The bat is quite thin. I wish they spread the chicken salt over a bit more. I would say that the one in Jarvis Bay, which I actually think is best in the world. The world's it greatest. It might actually be called the world's best fish and chips, <laughs> and it actually was the world's best fish and chips. Very aptly named. <laughs> Uh, I would say that one is better, but this one's still better. The oysters are very fresh as well. These are Clyde River oysters. They show up the trademark, so. Wildlife Park, just 10 minutes south of Batemans Bay. It's a very renowned attraction in the area, boasting Australia's largest collection of exotic animals. Let's go meet them. We had a great time at Mogo Wildlife Park, even in the wet weather. They have an impressive collection of big cats, including the white lion couple that are all white due to a rare double recessive gene. The park also showcases a large variety of primates, including active ones, seductive ones, angry ones. Oh. <laughs> hey, it says no bang on the glass. <laughs> and Albert Einstein lookalike ones. Other than that, you can expect to see some native species, as well as African safari animals, among others.
ourselves to JJ's on the marina, which is just on the wharf. It was an airy and relaxed environment with delicious food and an extensive drinks menu. Yorubadala Botanic Gardens. Um, it's a lot bigger than we expected, uh, as you can see from the map. So it's a, it's a lovely scenery and there are several different walks available, ranging from about half a kilometer to two kilometers. An instance would be you know, at the background there, there's a, a forest walk, uh, there's an Aboriginal heritage walk on that side. Uh, so there are different, I think five different walks in total. But it's a very quiet day today, so maybe people haven't quite made it to the South Coast yet. I mean, they're definitely a very peaceful place to come. sunny views that we were blessed with on the last day of our trip, we opted for lunch at the Batemans Bay Soldiers Club. It has a beautiful view over the wharf with its tall full length glass windows. We had to pick up some local oysters and prawns from the oyster shed, famous in the area for their fresh produce. So that wraps up our trip to Batemans Bay for the weekend. We're on our way back to Sydney. Um, if you're looking to come down to the south coast, definitely check out Batemans Bay. Probably appreciate the bay a lot more sunny day where the water is glistening from the sun but if the weather is not cooperating hopefully this video gave you some ideas on what can be done on a rainy weekend in Bateman's Bay. I, th I think that with the, with the weather issues it definitely did uh, stop us from participating in some activities that we had in mind. Uh, I've heard with Bateman's Bay particularly with whether it's snorkeling or scuba diving it's quite famous here. I think you can uh, snorkel with seals at Montague Island or dive with grey nurse sharks there as well. We highly recommend that. The, the reviews have been really good from what we've researched so far. So we missed out on this time, but next time we do hope to do some scuba diving or snorkeling. Uh, in terms of the trip to Batemans Bay, I guess the one downside is it is a bit of a drive in that from most parts of Sydney, it's probably about four hours drive to mitigate that. There are really beautiful stops along the way. So along the south coast, you have places like Wollongong, you have places such as Kayama, Nara. In the Shoalhaven district, I mean, it's very nice in general. Uh, you have Jarvis Bay, and that's a huge one. Along, uh, along the Huskisson Strip, there are many very nice places that you can stop at to eat or to enjoy activities. So definitely break up the trip into a few stops and it will make things a lot easier rather than doing one long drive. So if you found this video helpful for your next trip, give us a like down below um, and if there are any questions that you have or if you're a local to Batemans Bay and we missed some gems, please also pop them in the comments below to help um, others who may be looking to 
give the town a visit. Bye!